Hi, I'm Ronnie. Today's project I'm sharing with you is this cube I use as my seat at my sewing table. It had a really unappealing fabric on the outside of it, but it, it is the perfect size at my sewing machine for me to sit at. I'm tall. This cube is kind of short. It works out well for me. So instead of getting rid of it, I got the idea from Pinterest to recover it with denim. And I like denim, it goes with a lot of different looks. So the fabric was really expensive. I went to the thrift store. I found a couple big pairs of jeans. Just go to the jeans section. They'll have big pairs of jeans that sit there for a long time, people don't buy. I found two pairs of jeans for $4.50 a piece and I just recovered it and I really like the way it looks it was easy it only took me a couple days it technically you could do it in one day but for me it took me a couple days and um, if you like the way this looks and you want to see how I did it and then please keep watching so this is how my cube started out. The fabric didn't match anything in my house and the cats had done quite a bit of damage on a couple of corners. And here are the jeans I picked up. As you can see they are $4.50. I got two pairs of these at my local thrift store. Uh, the easiest way I found to cut these jeans is just with really sharp scissors and a roll cutter. I began by cutting open the inseams to be able to open the legs up. So to make fitting the cube a little bit easier with the pieces of fabric that I ended up with after cutting the legs apart, I used my roll cutter um, to try to even up the sides of the pant leg because they're tapered. It just makes it fitting a square shape much easier. And your hands do get pretty tired cutting denim with scissors. Having a roll cutter makes this much easier. Once I got one big piece to cover the entire top, I started stapling that piece on and I started in the center. I started with just a manual stapler to begin with, but the particle board proved to be very problematic with this. What I ended up doing was getting a Ryobi cordless staple gun and just added to my collection of cordless tools and it made the job much easier and faster. It worked well on the particle board as well as when it was stapling into the wood. This cube is made out of two different materials on the inside. The corners are wood and the top is particle board. The particle board definitely wasn't as easy to work with as the wood. It still didn't hold the staples quite as well, so some of the areas I had to take the staples out and re-staple a couple different times to get it to really hold my fabric well. I should mention that all the stapling you see me do will only be on the edges of this cube. The sides of this cube are actually made of cardboard, thick cardboard. So no staples went into the body portion, just the edges.
this cube did have these little plastic discs on the bottom that were feet that I popped off with a screwdriver and I put different feet on towards the end of the video because I didn't want the cube sitting directly on the floor which would just wreck the fabric that I wrapped around the bottom of it. This is what I had once I had all the large pieces of fabric on all sides of the cube. Now to cover up the staples and all the rough edges, I got the idea off of Pinterest to cut off all the seams from the leftover pieces of denim. And with that, I used scissors and the roll cutter and cut off as many pieces of seam as I could get. So I applied all these pieces to the cube to cover all those raw edges with hot glue. Some of the seams didn't go onto the areas in one single piece. I had to piece it together. So to compensate for those two areas where the seams, two pieces of seam met, I got these jean buttons from the craft store. They were really inexpensive. They were $3.99, I think. And I kind of squeezed the stem of the button in between the two seams to sink the button in, and I hot glued them right in. I think it gave it a nice little extra decor on there. And these are the feet I picked up at the hardware store. They come with a nail, so I just drilled in pilot holes and then um, screwed these feet right in. The feet also made the cube sit nice and level uh, because some of the fabric on the bottom was folded over. It made a bunch of bits, so if I didn't have the feet on it, it didn't sit flat. But the feet corrected that. This was a really easy, fun little project, and I really like the way this looks. It was also really inexpensive, and here it is already being put to good use. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.